Hello everyone and welcome to my new lesson video. In this video, I will be discussing the introduction to chemistry. I will discuss first the definition of chemistry and then we will also be tackling the different properties and changes that matter undergoes. So I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. So let us now first define what is chemistry. So basically, chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of matter, everything about its compositions, structures, properties, and the changes it undergoes. So this is the very basic definition of the term chemistry. So we said that chemistry is study of matter, so let us first define what is matter? So matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So when we talk about space, it pertains to the volume. The volume is the space occupied by matter. Now when we say mass, the term mass pertains to the amount or contain of the matter. Now, sometimes we associate the term mass with weight but they are actually different mass is a scalar quantity it is simply the amount of matter while weight is actually a vector quantity it is a force wherein weight is the product of mass and the acceleration due to the pull of gravity so that is the difference between mass and weight so let us now about composition, the composition of matter. So we define chemistry as the study of matter, its composition. So what do we mean by composition? It pertains to what comprises the matter, the components or the contents of matter. So for example, let's talk about water. So water is a compound, a pure substance composed of two different elements hydrogen and oxygen to be specific we have two particles of hydrogen and one particle of oxygen so in chemistry we are talking about we will be talking about what comprises a substance like what we what we said about the composition of water and other substances when we talk about structure it pertains to the formation of the components of matter sometimes we will be talking about the formation in terms of how molecules or atoms are formed are they forming crystalline are they forming crystals or how are, how were they formed through what we call bonding chemical bonding so we have different types of chemical bonding so we have ionic bonding, covalent bonding, as well as metallic bonding. Now, if we talk about properties, it is the physical or the chemical characteristics of matter. So we have this composition, structure, and properties of matter. Before we proceed with the changes that matter undergoes, let us first talk about the general properties of matter. The first one is the physical property or the physical properties of matter these properties are the inherent inherent characteristics of a substance which may be determined even without altering the composition of the substance Some, sometimes they are associated with its physical existence common example of physical properties are the color odor taste and texture and some other properties or even the state of matter so for example you have the state of matter wherein uh, for example water can be a solid liquid or gas while the chemical properties are those characteristics associated with the changes in the composition of a substance so it involves the chemical compositions of 
a substance or matter. Let us now talk about the classification of properties of matter. We have the intrinsic properties and the extrinsic properties. So when we say intrinsic properties or all, sometimes also known as intensive, intensive properties, this include the color, the taste, the melting point, boiling point, or some other colligative properties of matter wherein these properties do not rely or depend on the amount of matter, while the extrinsic property or extensive properties are properties that actually rely or depend on the amount of matter. So this include the mass, the volume, the length, or size, which could vary. Now, let us talk about the changes that matter undergoes. The first one is the physical change. Physical change involves the change in the physical property of matter. Basically, it is the changes in the size, shape, or state of matter without an accompanying change in composition. The changing of ice into water and water into steam are physical changes or from one state to another of matter or the change in state of matter is simply a physical change. While the chemical change involves the change in the chemical composition of matter. In a chemical change, substances are formed that are entirely different, having different properties and composition from the original material. The new substances need not in any way resemble the starting material before the change took place. An example for a physical change could be, let's say, liquid water will change into steam. The substance is still water. It just changes its state or phase of matter, but still the same substance, no change in chemical composition. So it is a physical change. For chemical change, the spoilage of food is a chemical change wherein the chemical composition of food changes. So let us now identify what type of change is happening to this following examples. The cutting of paper into smaller pieces. That is physical change. Rusting of an iron steel. That is chemical change. Heating an ice turning into liquid water. That is physical change. Burning of wood turning into ashes. That is chemical change. And lastly, the spoilage of food. That is also a chemical change. Now, let us identify if the property is a physical or chemical property. Texture. It is a physical property. Color is also a physical property. Size as well is a physical property. The boiling point of water is a chemical property. And its freezing point of any substance like water is a chemical property. Thank you very much for watching my lesson video. I hope you learned something new in science, specifically what is chemistry. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Sir Mark Laroya, and like and share this video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time and God bless.